Hey everybody, Joe Robinson here at Spencer's Ventura Mattress Factory here in Ventura, California. I'm really excited. Today we are opening up another bed. You guys have been loving our videos. We really appreciate all the comments and the likes. Please keep watching. If you haven't watched our channel before, we open up beds and we give our honest opinion on the construction of the bed. We've opened up a beauty rest. We've opened up a purple mattress. We've opened up a Casper and a couple others. So today we are gonna be opening one of the leading manufacturers of beds, Avocado Mattress. So here we go. We're gonna open this avocado. This is Avocado's base model. They have a children's model as well. So this is a twin size. Right now it's still vacuum packed. This is the bottom. I opened up the bottom is on the inside. Let's uh, cut the package. Those, you can see the springs. This is the springs before I cut it open. This is the bottom. Looks like a cotton canvas type material, which is nice. Again, if you're gonna buy a bed in the box, buy something like this. And I'll tell you why. I'm gonna go over and t explain why. I'm recommending this particular one or, or Harvest Green. Or... So this twin sells for $7.99 on their site, $800 for this twin. It's got some handles on it, which is nice. I, don't, I believe Harvest Green doesn't. So when we manufacture mattresses, we have handles that we put on our beds, on some beds and some we don't. Harvest Green, I believe, doesn't have handles. We're gonna find out. So handles cost us, uh, I'd like to say $4 a piece or so. Okay. Four times four is 16. Four. Right. Then you mark it up, and now you're at $30 expense to the consumer. It's got a nice look to it. It does. I mean, it's nice. It's soft. Uh huh. It's nice that it's organic. So it's not tape edged. Tape edge is what we're going to show you next. When you see this right here, they're just sewn together from the yeah, inside. Yeah, I noticed that. It's not as like. Yeah. It's not as seamless. No polyurethane foam is used. Yeah, you can you can actually feel the coils right here, which right. is kind of. Well, I'm not used to feeling that. Well, because there's no polyurethane foam. When you buy an, a, a real nice organic mattress, you're not gonna have polyurethane foam in it. And that's, so there's no, there's no of that edge that, like, that you do with some of the beds. Yeah, the clean edge where you can't feel the coils. And that's the real gist of this whole mattress business and, and the, the natural versus the non, the synthetic, the polyurethane foam. See what really is in both of these. Right, so ones. we're about to cut this guy so open. Flip it over, I'm gonna show you how it's actually sealed up so this is where the scene, the bed opens and closes on a machine that, I don't know if you can, that machine over there, it goes around the track and it actually, we add this tape all the way right around the center there. and that's how we seal it up. So this is called a tape edge in the mattress industry. And we're going to start here, if I can get this open and show you how we open them. Right. This is called a law label. This will have all the pertinent information for you. Latex foam rubber, 91% wool fiber 9% and that wool fiber is for fire barrier. I'm going to peel this down here. This is a, what is this, a wool or a? That is, no, it's a, that's a fire barrier. That's no, a looks, fire barrier. Yeah, but it's wool. And these are called hog rings. They just, they just staple that on there. And this is the bottom. And it's actually, see all this glue? It's glued down to it right here. Oh yeah. To hold it on. So, and that's a process to hold. This is called scrim. But the, each coil is independently wrapped in polypropylene. They're not wrapped in organic cotton. There are spring units out of Europe, and there may be one or two manufacturers that make them in, in America that wrap them in actually an actual cotton fabric, and they don't glue them together. This has got a double wrapped edge here, so these coils are smaller, tighter, more stronger, and they go around the edge. It's good as long as you have a thicker gauge coil around the sides of it, and that's okay. what this is. And this is a, a, a thinner gauge coil. Well, this could be the same, but anyhow, they're bigger and then you have a strong packed one there. These are good, these are good coil units. It looks like a lot of coils in here too. There's only two turns to this coil, meaning how many times does it actually turn? The more turns you put into a coil, see how many turns yeah, there are? Yeah, so the edge has like six on them. The more right? compression it actually holds, so the less, the less steel's in this coil. So the bigger ones have about... And I don't know if this is pure wool, but 
It looks like it is, but we're gonna take this off here. Are we just going in production, like when we do our production? So here we go, guys, here we go. Two, two one inch layers right here. Are and these the same? One's a little no, taller. No, this one, this one is, and this is Dunlop latex, which okay. is, or they're claiming it's organic and really, there is no way to prove. So underneath, it's lighter in color. And even on the bottom of this layer, it's lighter because this is probably was sitting out in a factory for a day or two aside, you know, before. And that's all it takes. It just takes a day of light, like from our skylight up here, Joe, to actually hit this and to start turning it yellow. That's how UV lighting affects it. So they have two layers in here directly on top of the spring. So like in beds that I make, Joe, we'll put a layer of or uh, unbleached cotton on top of this spring. We use water-based adhesives and laminate everything. This is this is not laminated, which is fine. My water-based adhesives that I get, my latex and salt water, they're a lot of money to, to actually laminate and time-wise and put it on each layer so it's proper and it sits and it sticks. The cost of my spring here, if I were to buy a spring like this, is about $100. The latex comes from most likely Sri Lanka. It seems like, um, I don't know where this does, but they're the biggest supplier. I like it for $7.99. I, my Churchill and Smith's, I have a, a line called churchillandsmith.com and that, that's a higher end version of all these. This is the, the base model of Avocado Mattress and as you can see, it's a pretty simple build and we stand behind it. It's a solid I think you're, you're getting, you're getting, price. you're getting what you're paying for. Yeah, you're, you're, get, you're getting what you're paying you're getting, for. Yeah. You know, the one thing I think that sticks out to me is that they, they don't laminate, which isn't a big deal for a twin size mattress. But if you look at our beauty rest video, this oh, is a, uh, it's natural or it's organic other than the polypropylene based springs other than that it's uh you know they're doing their job it's not right. like you're, it's not like you're overpaying it really not great so, thanks yeah. for opening this up